Hi, today is an auspicious day. And I thought I would use today to bring attention to a man whom I admired very much and I think is exemplary of all the qualities and values that are good in a man. And he represents a lot of other people that he led. And I picked this man because I knew him well. He was a friend, a colleague, and a mentor to me. Patty Brown, Captain Patty Brown, Ladder Three of the New York City Fire Department. I met Patty in the mid-90s. You see, I was lucky enough to uh, have the best job in the world. For 20 years, I was a firefighter and a lieutenant in the New York City Fire Department. And in the mid-90s, I was working at Ladder Company 4 in Midtown Manhattan, one of the best outfits in the world, I might add. And we worked very closely with Rescue Company 1, who was very nearby us, and we ran in with them quite a lot. And I got to know them. They're a specialized company, and I guess they're kind of okay, too. Uh, for those of you that are not unfamiliar with our uh, competitive rivalries in the fire department, that was a little bit of a dig. Uh, Rescue Company 1 is a very specialized company of heroic individuals that do some pretty amazing stuff. And Patty Brown was a lieutenant at the time in Rescue Company 1. Now, I got to meet Patty the first time when I worked in Rescue 1 on a detail, on a temporary assignment, which I used to do occasionally. I did it, I don't know, maybe a dozen or so times. It was a fun place to go spend a night tour and drive all over the city going to fires. And that's where I got to know Patty. Patty had leadership abilities that were really rather extraordinary. I mean, he knew his job really well. He wouldn't have had that position in rescue if that weren't true. That's kind of a given. But he was leading men who were at the top of their game. Knowledgeable, dedicated, and competitive guys. So what was extraordinary about Patty is he could, um, he could exhibit leadership amongst that crowd of lunatics and he could do it in a way that was affable and friendly i mean it was really extraordinary he did have true leadership abilities and patty wasn't one of these lead from behind guys he was you know follow me boys that was his thing one day on one of my off days when i was working as a, a, a fireman in ladder company four i was home and i saw the story in the news of this spectacular rescue that had occurred in midtown manhattan it was a high-rise building. I think it was about 16 stories tall, somewhere in that neighborhood. Maybe a little tall. I don't know. It was a high-rise building. It was a commercial establishment. And there was a very serious fire on one of the upper floors. There were two people trapped at windows above the fire, on a floor above the fire. They couldn't get out. They were in desperate uh, danger. And Rescue One organized what we call a roof rope rescue. And not only did they get one of the guys, they got them both. Now, what was it, what's interesting about this, there's a very dangerous and difficult operation. Two men from the fire department, uh, part of a team that was operating from the roof, were lowered off the side of the building, grabbed the victim, lowered down another you know, floor below the fire, and then brought into the building by uh, men underneath, underneath the fire. Now, that's an extraordinary rescue. To do it twice within a matter of minutes, is just amazing. And what's particularly interesting about this, it was at kind of the beginning, the rise of the ubiquity of digital cameras was just underway. And it was Manhattan, Midtown Manhattan, hey there, in the middle of the day. So there are many, many videos from many different angles that documented this rescue and made it part of history. I'll put some links in the video if you want to take a look at it. And why it's relevant to what I'm talking about now is that the rescue was organized and supervised by Lieutenant Patty Brown. Fast forward a little bit. I had, you know, when I became an officer, a lieutenant myself, and I moved downtown to the East Village and was in Engine Company 5, Patty had become a captain and he was in Ladder Company 3. Again, a sister company, very close to Engine 5. We used to operate together. An engine company gets water on the fire. The ladder company does uh, forcible entry search and ventilation. You work side by side very closely. The activities of both companies are, uh, the, the lives of your company is dependent upon the, uh, 
the job that those men in that sister company are doing. It goes both ways. Our lives depended upon each other, and we had trust and faith in each other. And we used to sometimes, again, you know, work temporary assignments on details. So we got to know each other, although Patty and I were officers, so we worked commanding our own companies at fires. Patty became a friend. I had a lot in common with Patty. Patty and I uh, don't drink alcohol, a rather rare state of affairs in the hard drinking boys of the FDNY. Uh, we were fit and athletic. Again, that's not so unusual in the, in the fire department. Most men, men there are, most firefighters there are fit and athletic. And, um, and here's what really stood out. Patty and I do, both did yoga. In 1999, I went to a fire, a minor fire, where a, a woman's laundry caught fire. And while my boys were handling that rather minor affair, I was flirting with the girl. She was kind of cute. Her name was Kate. Kate the hippie, I called her. Kate and I dated for only four months, but uh, Kate kind of changed my life because she introduced me to yoga. She was a yoga teacher. And like most men who do yoga, we go because our girlfriends or wives kind of tell us to go. And that was true of me too. It became a thing with me. I really fell in love with it. And then here it is 20 years later, I'm still doing it and teaching it, but that's off the subject. What it is, is Patty and I had that in common as well. And it was considered a little odd back in the 90s and early 2000s for a fireman to be doing yoga. Now I go back to parties and the guys all want to tell me, hey, you know, I tried that yoga thing you told me about. I guess it's kind of growing. But Patty and I had that in common. As I said, we were friends. We had become friends outside of the fire department, outside of our work, and of course, within the department as well, especially when we were operating together at fires and emergencies. Patty, as I said, was a mentor. If I had a problem or an issue that I needed advice, he was very quick to pick up the phone and, and give me counsel. He's a good man, loved by many. Patty's last words, last recorded words on a radio transmission we're at 921 on the morning of September 11, 2001. At that point in the disaster, the second building had already been struck. The South had, Patty was in the North Tower. The second building had already been struck and there was carnage going on in the street. People were jumping. There was debris killing people down in the street. The fire department was trying to get some sense of organization, command and control going. It was a difficult time. Patty's last words from the 35th floor of the North Tower was, this is ladder three, we're going up. As I said, Patty led from the front of the pack. So today, as posts came up on Facebook about 9-11, common in my feed. I mean, the people I worked with were there. It affected me. It affected my family. It affected my neighbors. It affected thousands of people around the world. I know that, but we were very close to it. And, uh, okay. okay. Thank you. I just want to point out this guy has a New York hat on. <laughs> that is the most <laughs> ubiquitous logo in the world. New York City Yankees. I see it everywhere. But getting back to our story and, and, and our topic to today, which is my friend, my colleague, and my mentor, Patty Brown. He lived and died by the values he believed in. And as I said in earlier videos about heroes, Patty is the kind of guy that the people around him are so impressed with the type of man that he was that they will be telling his story for generations to come. In a group of heroic individuals in the New York City Fire Department, people who I always admired from a kid and still do today, even, ha even having been part of them, I feel special to have been amongst them and I still hold them on a pedestal. They're amazing people. They do amazing things. And as I said, I'm going to bring attention today to Captain Patty Brown not only because he deserves that special attention, but because he's representative of all the people that he worked with. So again, it's an auspicious day. I wanted to say something about it. When I do get back to New York, when this 
COVID disaster is behind us and we could all travel once again. And I go back to New York to see my family. I intend to do more stories about my time in the fire department. I have some really remarkable stories. One about Kate the Hippie is fun in and of itself. But for now, I just wanted to mention Patty. Rest in peace, Patty. You were an inspiration to me.